My name is Steven Sindoni. Thank you for tuning in to the broadcast of Blackwater Revealed. In late August, I was a guest on BBS Radio with host James Gilland on his show, As You Wish. And not long after, I was sent an email from a man who identified himself as M. The letter is as follows. Hi, Stephen. First, I don't want to be involved in whatever becomes of this. I am only doing this for the money, which I need because work is slow to non-existent here in Siskiyou County. This is a disposable email, so don't bother tracking me down. Even if you could get past the strings of aliases used to set this account up, I'll deny everything and claim it was a hoax. If I ever get put on the spot, and believe me, plenty of powerful people around here will back me up on that. The person who sent me these photos, I've never met. I responded to a help wanted ad posted on a flyer that was tacked up on a bulletin board for a delivery job. I thought it had something to do with driving, so I left a message on a voicemail number. I was then contacted and given a password to this Yahoo account with instructions to send these photos along to you. This guy would only give me the name M and said, I'd be sending these photos along to you in response to the James Gillen show. So a lot of the information I'm just passing along. I know nothing about except what he has told me, and I have agreed to do it so long as I wasn't involved in anything criminal. These photos were taken in McLeod somewhere around the Mud Creek area on private property by somebody who obviously has access to this area. The hearse on a huge swath of the land that extends from McLeod to the reservoir. They purchased the land back in the 1930s and built castles and all kinds of weird stuff along the McLeod River, but they don't let the public on their land, and very few people know how to get to it, and those that do are paid well to keep their mouths shut. There's a labyrinth of logging roads through that area, and if you don't know the roads and where to turn, you might as well be driving around a maze, because that's what it is. The Hurst still used the land which they call Wytoon, and only let their family and associates go there, but they don't use the roads, they just fly in with helicopters. They have black water guarding the perimeter and roads that are further in, so if somebody gets past all the locked gates and through the maze of logging roads, they're probably still going to get caught. If you travel down the roads far enough, there's Blackwater signage posted along with the private property and no trespassing signs, and they don't exactly keep that low a profile. All the Blackwater helicopters flying around Mount Shasta area are Blackwater. I have no idea where on this property these petroglyphs come from or what they mean, and I don't know why parts of the photo are blacked out. I'm just sending them as given to me, and I'm told this is only a start. And there's stuff on this property that will raise the hair on the back of your neck straight up. M obviously wants to release some of the information he's been holding on to, but for whatever the reason, cannot do it himself and wants to protect his anonymity. But there is a story here, and I suppose that's why he's hired me to pass these along. I'll pass along anything you have to say but I have to do that through another account that's set up offshore and totally undetectable. I really don't know what else to say at this point. I'll just pass along to you whatever he sends me, if anything. After a number of months searching, it was like looking for a needle in a haystack. Now, with winter approaching, an expedition to find the ancient petroglyphs will have to wait until May of 2010. It is my hope that the man, only known as M, will share additional information and photos and give us the true location of where these ancient symbols can be found.